name is Paul Southman, and I am here to moderate the Lance Hendrickson Valley. You guys excited about this, right? What a legend, and what a cool guy. But first, we're, we're going to uh, do something that, that we have not done before. We're, we're going to do a little gay crash promotion. The Haxons are playing tonight. And if you notice, this is Count D from Rob Zombie's band, the bass player. And then Ash Costello of New Year's Day. So let's have them come up real quick and a big round of applause. There you go. So uh, tell everybody about your show tonight. We gotta make sure everybody comes out. We're at Amplified Live tonight. When you guys wrap up here, we're at 9.30, so come party with us. We're gonna play all songs you love. We're a monster, monster party band. <laughs> Party music, you're gonna love the Haxons, so definitely check it out. And hopefully, we'll see all you guys tonight. Right. We're so glad you guys got to come out with us. It's our first time in Texas Primary Weekend, right? It is, it is. And we really wanted to meet Lance today, which I know all you guys do too. Yeah. yeah. Legend, right? So, you guys better make some noise for him when he comes out. That's right. So, before we let you go, he's actually got a really cool show having to do with Metal Monster, so you gotta give a plug for it. Yeah, Gibson TV. Go on the Gibson uh, Guitars YouTube. We've got a new show with Robert England and Don Dawkins. was our Ooh. first episode. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So if you like heavy metal and you like monsters, another party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see it. I see it. Uh, yeah, oh, that's, that. that's my dude. All right. And, you know, we've got, uh, and also, uh, you're coming back to town with Rob Zombie, right? We are. We're going to be here this summer with Mudbane. So if you guys want to come. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. 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 Mudbane, Static X, and Power Man 5000. It's going to be an awesome show. Yeah. 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 We'll see you guys next time. Yes, big round of applause for the Hexes. Yeah. Thank you for coming out tonight. Let's see you get a fire coming. All right, we'll see you guys later. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy Lance. All right, here we go. That was the opening act. And now, <laughs> here we go. Lance Hendrickson, the one and only, the legend. <laughs> Space and you're still here. How about that? <laughs> what? You got torn in half in space and you're still here. He's going way back. Way back. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I look like a 14 year old virgin when I did that. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm a wise ass. Forgive me, guys. <laughs> oh, we love Otherwise, it. life is a uh, stale, weary, flat, and unprofitable, and very Shakespearean. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> I love that. Hey, I love your dogs, by the way. I've been yeah. watching them. I don't know how they do it because they're so full of electric. They're full of electric. They're great. They're a lot better than I thought they would. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, is, that, is that a guy and a girl? Oh, yes. Boy, girl. Wow. Oh, wow. Love it. <laughs> Look what you did. Yeah. <laughs> Can you stand up for everyone to see you, please? Oh yeah, uh, they, they want to see you, if you can stand up, uh, if you can see the dogs. Yeah. No, I couldn't see the dogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there they are. Oh, the dogs. Oh, I love it. Well, we're so happy to have you here. I know that you've got so many, uh, so many, okay, yeah, all right. All right, I'll do this one. You've got so many good movies that you've been in, but so many, thank you. And so many ahead. Uh, let, let's go ahead and, and like to mess up people. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> mess with I'm already right. <laughs> messed up. I'm already messed up. It's fine. <laughs> so, is your stuff? No, I was wondering about that earlier. I said, somebody left some shorts on the. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Let's yeah. Start. Well, we're going to ask, we're gonna ask some questions, show. but first, let's, let's talk. You, you've got a couple of movies coming out we should know about. Yeah, I do. I do. Uh, I can't believe I survived them. They have one is called The Artifice Girl. There's a guy named Franklin Rich in Florida who wrote it, he's in it, he directed it, he's the bride at every wedding and the corpse at every funeral. He's great talent and I, I was very proud to be part of that movie. It's coming out. 
it's going to come out. Yeah. And and I and I did some uh, you know games. There's one called Quarry that's coming out. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I love those because I. I, I don't have to be able to do anything and they make me look good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they made me six feet tall and then three feet tall and then, you know, it didn't happen. But, but I would like that to happen. Yeah. I oh, love that. Well, what, are, what are their names? This is Diefenbaker. Duesenberger? Diefenbaker. 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 What? Diefenbaker. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Now, I, you know, you guys always have the best questions, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn it over to you guys. So who's going to be the brave soul with the first question? There you go, right in the front. Can you do the night trick as bishop on me? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, the night trick. <laughs> Damn, that was good. So we'll okay. end with the night trick. The night trick. Uh, oh, the night yeah. trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boy, you were on thin uh, ice. I know. <laughs> I know, yes, I, I have habitual moves too. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but that was. Uh, I know there's movie. That looked like William Shatner when you just. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did it? It was the empty hand. <laughs> but can you do, actually do the knife trick itself? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. At, at first, Bill Paxton and I, we were gonna. I don't know what he had in mind, but it was going to be Bill using my knife and doing that. And I said, Jim, that, there's nothing happening there. Why don't we pull a surprise on him? And I'll put my hand on his, and then we'll do it. And Billy played it, man. He played it. Hell out. <laughs> I love and miss Bill Patton. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's like it was. It was like our whole career up to then. We were all um, skating on thin ice, all of us, including Jim. I mean, he was trying his best to make a great movie, you know, Alien. But we didn't know what was going to happen. Because they, they sure gave us enough shit. <laughs> Excuse my French. But it's the only word that really describes it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, Bill was, of course, a local from Fort Worth, Texas yeah. here, and, and we love him and miss him, and he was a great pillar of our film community here. Uh, who's got another good question? There we go, right here, right here. with the bloody hand. Um, so, this also kind of, um, you were in a music video back in, like, 87 for Bill Paxton's band. I was just wondering how on earth you got involved with that. The Reach music video? Got involved with what? Music video for Bill Paxton's band. Oh, his band? Yeah. Well, I, I got involved because I had that pickup truck. <laughs> yeah, Bill said, can we use your pickup truck? And he put everything in there. Uh, you know, just, God, everybody that we knew was in the back of my pickup truck. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> but Billy, when he started singing, I, I knew what it was. I was okay. I don't care. Right on the hook. You want to drive it? I don't give a shit. Yeah. I built that truck. It was fun. That's about that. But it's an old, you know, 36 Ford on a modern Chevy frame. Because I, I, I got tired of breaking down in Death Valley. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Anyway. My, my, my voice is putting them to sleep. <laughs> That's incredible. It lulled them to sleep. This is yeah. great. What did you say? Oh, you've lulled them to sleep. This is great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, you, you have a question, don't you? William Shatner upstaging everybody. No, no, no. What, what, what? Let's say it again. Definitely not. I'm going to direct you. I want to direct everybody. I love to torture horses. I break their tails. And I tie them and I hobble them at night. So they can't sleep. You know? Suffer like crazy, so that when they ride, when they ride me around my my estate, <laughs> I don't bounce in the saddle. <laughs> I just rise <laughs> like I'm going into space. <laughs> well, I didn't know that was coming. <laughs> anyway, I got a, I got bones to pick with certain kinds of people. 
<laughs> when they abuse animals, oh, yeah. I get nuts. Same here. Look at it. It's like a like a funeral suddenly. <laughs> When I talk righteous, yeah, it's like, okay, I'll stop. You had a question? I'm, I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> he had a question. Yeah, give it to me. No, come on, I love questions. Well, I wanted to say, without masks, though, because I don't understand. You've done so many roles that uh, I've loved over the years. I want to thank you for that. Um, my question is, when you are taking a, a part in a established franchise like the Aliens, Predator, or even Millennium, um, does it change your approach to the role, knowing that there's already an existing no. audience? No, no. <laughs> it doesn't change my approach. No, because what they need is my vitality, they need my sense of humor, they need all the elements that make us humans. And, and I've been doing it long enough to where I just feel part of it right from the first day. I don't like, I'm not a fading flower that kind of, that kind of is nervous about who I'm meeting, the new people, the new crew, the new everything. No, because I've spent my whole life meeting people and, and getting a sense of them. I can look at you and get a sense of you. You know I might be wrong. <laughs> but still, I make an attempt, right? We're not all going to dinner together. We could. Although we could. <laughs> Especially in this hotel. Yeah. I could guess it was one guy's credit card. <laughs> it's such BS. <laughs> I hope. I hope that. Uh, that they get their act together because our money is our freedom. If we have cash, that's our freedom. Don't tell me I need a credit card. You know, I mean, come on. Yeah. That's enough already. Corporate bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting started, man. <laughs> anyway, what do you want to know? I love it. There's a, a hand way back in the back. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna talk to my observer. What yes. Uh, <laughs> there is a uh, scene that mirrored what happened in Scream 3 that mirrored the Harvey Weinstein incidents. Oh yeah. yeah, no. No, they were, the writers of that show were not intelligent enough to see that. <laughs> they didn't know how to write a scene like that. There's no, there's, no, that's, that movie to me, except for the actors, was chewing gum for the eyes. That's all it was. It didn't, it didn't mean a thing to me. I just like playing a, an overweight producer who is, who doesn't give a shit about anybody or anything. And that was kind of fun. I mean, I liked that. You know, you snap your suspenders, until your nipples get big. <laughs> you show up, that's what kind of mind I have. <laughs> but there's gotta be some of us. What? Who? Who's next? Yeah. yeah. Um, so did you just make that? Did you just do that? I'm sorry, this is my first one. Yeah, you're good. Oh, super <laughs> you're doing great. Near Dark was one of the high points of my life. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Billy Paxton and all of us, Jeanette, everybody, 
we had submerged into those roles. And Catherine Bigelow really treated us that way. You know, she would, she would give us issues like, how are you going to, if those curtains were open, we wouldn't be able to go into this room because the sun would kill us, wipe us out, not kill us. We're already dead. But, <laughs> but it would wipe us out. It would turn us to dust, you know. And, and that kind of imagination, and they wrote the script. If you could have read the script, you guys, all of you, before you saw it, it read like poetry. It was amazing. The script was like vital and full of po poignance and point. You know, every uh, man, we were high as a kite. <laughs> we were like, whoa, let's go, let's do it. I'm not afraid of this. You know, we went for it. Especially Billy and, and uh, the rest of them. I love those people. They, uh, we, we lived together. I mean, that was it. And, and oddly enough, we shot all night, every night. And then in the morning when the sun started to come up, we'd go to a truck stop and have breakfast. And without taking our makeup off. <laughs> <laughs> and all the truckers left. <laughs> they saw us come in and they all went, and we were still in wardrobe. And it was like, we had to make laugh. And it made me laugh. <laughs> And then, and then five minutes later, there'd be a, a state trooper come in, and, <laughs> and, just, and then we go, "Hi, man, how you doing?" And then we let it all go. You know, mm -hmm. but they thought we were like, we were going to do some damage. <laughs> how about Red Prime? And I did fantasize doing the damage. <laughs> <laughs> so I was curious. Um, I was real. I'm really just fascinated by the portrayal of AI in Aliens, that sort of like uncanny valley between human and robot. Yeah. And there wasn't anything really like that done before, so I'm wondering what sort of informed your performance of Bishop. This this has now got a girl who's, who is an AI, totally. But she looks like a 12-year-old. And what she's trying to do is lure pedophiles and get them arrested. Mm. You know, and she mm -hmm. for 50 years we've been working on it. Oh, shit. And there are four of us. They st we all started dying off because time, time will just take you when you least expect it. You know, and you think you're going to live forever, but I could get struck by lightning, or a horse could step on my head, <laughs> <laughs> or a Shatner might fall on me from outer space. <laughs> so, but. But the, the joy of the, the terror of what AI could potentially do to all of us. And it's, you get a little taste of it with this hotel. You know, you know, you gotta put it on that thing and you gotta do this. And the food arrives and it's identical. It's like it came out of the same sponge mold, you know. It's like, and it tastes about the same. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, man. I mean, I, I don't want to be like this, but, but man, they, they mm, the first time they wouldn't take my cash, I went, I brought all this cash with me, and you're not taking it. And it's my only freedom. It says, for all debts, public and private. Yeah. It says it right on the money. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just a comment. So you firmly believe in the theory or the belief of Skynet? The what? Uh, the belief <laughs> in the theory or I'm, Skynet? I'm all half deaf from shooting guns. What? Skynet? From, uh, no, Skynet from Terminator? Yeah. That's kind of a real That didn't scare me. <laughs> no, I wasn't in that. <laughs> oh, but that, that, that is nothing compared to I, have you, I don't know how many people, raise your hands, if you've been to a hospital and the doctor takes over your life, they won't let you go home. Yes. See that? Yeah. And that is the most terrifying thing in the world, even if they're trying to help you. Anybody that says, I can't leave, you're in trouble. <laughs> you're in trouble, or I'm in trouble. Now, it's 
You can't go to the bathroom by yourself. No. How did you know that? <laughs> Right here. Did you ever like take a role that you thought, oh, it's not going to be that big of a movie, but I'm going to take it because it seems like an interesting character, and then the movie just blew up at the game bigger than you expected? If, if I lived in an apartment building and, and I left my door unlocked, and I, that was all I had was that apartment, and if you treat it like that, you're going to get kicked out of your apartment because nobody's going to hire you anymore. Yeah. For real. Mm -hmm. you, better, you better stay uh, engaged. In, and like right now, we're engaged with each other. Yeah. I, I feel normal. I feel happy. Good. I feel mm -hmm. wonderful. If I start feeling disengaged to all you guys, what would that make me? Shatner. William <laughs> This all started because I saw him signing pictures. And he would sign a picture and then go, have a nice day. Wouldn't even look up. And I went, holy shit. I mean, I couldn't wow. believe it. <laughs> Talk about disengaged. That's why I like him so much. <laughs> but I feel like he's just going to show up all of a sudden. <laughs> We've invoked his name too. If he does, it's going to be a knockout like fight, man. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going down. Man. No, no, I wouldn't fight anybody. I don't want to beat anybody up. I have no desire to do that. <laughs> Unless I see somebody hurting me. Oh, yeah. Then he's in trouble. How about right here? Uh, one movie that you were in that I loved was Pumpkinhead. Yeah. Yeah. There was, yeah. I got that script from my agent, and it was an orange cover oh, to represent a pumpkin, right? And it said pumpkin head on it. And I said, what is this, Ichabod Crane? And I'm, like, I'm gonna be riding a black horse with a pumpkin on my head, and it's gonna be ridiculous. And then my, uh, another friend of mine, I found out uh, who was directing it, it was Stan Winston. Yeah. And I love Stan, I mean, because we'd done Elegance and we'd done a lot of stuff. And, and uh, then I finally read it. And I came to the scene, remember the scene where the, my son is dead and he's laying on the seat. And then he's, we're in a dark road and he sits up and he goes, what did you do, Daddy? Yeah. What did you do? And my, the hair on my neck stood up. And I went, no, I won't do this. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was very, I, I enjoyed making that film, and I loved all the people that worked on it, because, you know, like Alec Gillis and Tom Woodruff and all those guys, I had worked with them so much, you know, and that, that was like a welcome home kind of thing, you know. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you look like a medieval soldier. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I need my glasses. <laughs> Do you have a question? I actually saw you in 2019, and now I keep my autograph with my Ken Alien collection. But enough about me. I actually wanted to pay you back off of him about Pumpkinhead. I noticed that you and uh, your on screen son Billy had a very sweet and convincing father son relationship. Oh, the little boy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you do anything? Oh, like yeah, because I had a new baby. Oh. And I was so happy to be around a kid that age, you know, I mean, it, it was, he was a really wonderfully sweet child. And, and it brought something out in me that I didn't expect, but it happened. Uh, my grandmother used to wash my hands, and she was very old. And I could feel her bones under the skin. And I'm, I'm, I only have five minutes to show our relationship. And I started telling him about his grandmother and how I could feel the phone. 
Even now I get emotional. Yeah. Um, and, and the little boy just took it in and, and it meant a lot. We only had five minutes to prove we loved each other. Mm -hmm. Mommy had died and you know, now I'm, I'm mommy and daddy and, and all of that. And yeah, that's, that's some of the gifts it gives you to be an actor. I, I suspend my disbelief, you know, and, and it also was, was connected with a real part of my life. So, are your asses really tired right now? <laughs> <laughs> nope. uh, is it getting numb? <laughs> Let me know, because I can cut this off real quick. <laughs> We actually have time for about two more questions, so I know there's more hands than that, so where should we go? Look at the guys way in the back. Yeah, way in the back. Way in the back. Hey, hey, go. Yeah, go ahead. Walk toward us. Don't yeah, be afraid. <laughs> Come, run. Don't bite. There we go. Come on. Yeah. Come on run, down. run, run, there run. There we go. Hi. Oh, that's cool. Who's your favorite director? Oh, your favorite director to work with. My favorite? That you worked with. Wow. Jim Cameron. Yeah. I, I did three movies with him. Hell yeah. Yeah. And then watched him do all the rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good stuff. <laughs> it, you would like him too. He's very precise, like you are. I talked to you earlier today and you have a very strong focus on what you want to know I, I saw that what's your name Parker. Patrick Parker 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 Shatner anyway I could go on you know uh, and there's a lot of people that are that are actors or that want to be in movies, and, and I know you have some great advice for people we've been talking. That's what you. Think. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't give advice about your dream. It's uh, it's yours. You own it. Yes. And you have to struggle with it. And you will. The harder you you struggle with trying to make your dream come true, the more chance you have. Really, it's not, it's no different. I, I only went to three years of grammar school. I never went to high school. I hated school. Anytime I could run, I did. <laughs> no. I, I couldn't stand the teachers. I couldn't read. Uh, you know, I was like a defective kid. And they really let me know it, you know. Well, I, I'll bet they're, uh, I bet they're still eating TV dinners. <laughs> <laughs> on those little, what was the one where it was all in it and you put it on that little folding table? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. TV trays. TV trays. The TV trays? Huh? The TV trays? The yeah, but the, but the, 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 you know, the frozen the shit. The Swansons. Swanson. Night, Nighthawk or something. Swanson? Swanson. 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 <laughs> no, 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 Oh my God! <laughs> All of the movies, holy shit! What did you think about that movie when you were in it? John Huston was in it. Shelley Winters, Glenn Ford, Mel Ferrar, and me. And who's me? I mean, anyway, I remember sitting with John Huston, and he said, "Lance, listen, I, I don't want to come back. So let's let's do the dumping now." And I said, oh, okay, you know, and, he, and he's looking at me and we're sitting in a big, a room bigger than this, in, 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 a, in a, an Italian villa. And he goes, he points at me and, I, and I'm here, you're on first. And I said, 
shit our throat. And he said, well, what's the matter, Lance? <laughs> I just got my first direction from John Huston. And I froze up, okay? <laughs> it's true. You know who John Huston is? Yeah, and the guy, the guy was like, he just look at you and you'd find some meaning. You know, he kept me busy. And it was Italy. And it was the director and I hated each other. I mean, really hated each other. The first shot that we were doing, he, he grabbed my arm and said, no, not here, put it here. And I said, if you ever touch me again, I'm going to shit. Goodness. Yeah, so we had the one final question. Who, who did you, who are you pointing to before? Right over here? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Let's close it out. How was it filming uh, Millennium? Millennium? How, did, how was it? How was it working on Millennium? Oh, I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. I, I took the third year. And then I was so tired, I couldn't, I didn't know my own name. <laughs> I'm looking for sympathy, okay? <laughs> it's hard doing a series, it really is. I mean, we, we were doing, we did 60 shows in three years. And those are full length, you know. And, but I learned a lot, and, you know, and, and all my wounds healed. It was hard. It was really hard. But it was also a blessing. I met a lot of actors on that show, and I liked them all. I always, I always made sure they felt welcome. Never, you know, never pulling any shit on them. Except for when. <laughs> well, we, we love having you here, and uh, one, one thing that we do uh, that's been a whole lot of fun, we're going to take a, a picture, a selfie here, with the crowd behind us, so they can all find themselves later, before we let you go. You guys stand up here. All right. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> you guys look twice as many. <laughs> All right, everybody in, you ready? Okay, here we go. Can everybody see you? All right, one, two, three.